Hey class, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over some art history things, so stay tuned as we learn some culture. So today for art history we're going over another artisan. Now this artisan that we're doing, it's a living artist out of Japan. They were actually noted as a living national treasure. It's a new that they've given their artists in the country and the reason they do that is that they are the country is supportive of the arts and supportive of culture so they are actually security and like they're taken care of they're looked after these artisans which i think is really cool uh they are and the artist that we're looking at is kihima so uh hiroshi so his body of work focuses on celadon pieces and celadon is a greenish like sea foam sea green color it so that if you want to use that as one of the elements that were things that we're talking about today that is his glaze of choice and when you're dealing with celadons and making them and applying them to ceramics usually those are their house recipes so like if there's a signature dish that your family makes or like a place that you go to let's say you have a favorite thai place i have a lot of thai places there's a plate they have signature dishes there like the chef there they all make pad thai but this one's pad thai is definitively different from this one. Celadon glaze is really the same thing, so the way that they are all made. Now looking at this piece, the things I wanna focus on today are is the shape or the form, because we're doing more 3D form, the color and the texture that's being applied on these. Now the title of the piece is CG Celadon Jar with Carved Pattern, and the, that's the piece that I'm, I'm focusing on in my review. However, there's some other pieces I'm putting in to the video. The structure of the design, there's a lot of curves. So not so when you look at the shape of the piece overall, it's not just a simple, single unified shape. There's some curvature to it. Your eye has line and movement that it can flow down in the body of the piece. Additionally, there's notches, it like kind of like little dashes along the outside of the piece to break up that space further. So you have individual sections because the lines that the artisan put into the shape and there's also dash marks to further put lines into the shape. Lastly there with the color, the way that they, he's applied glaze, it produced a texture called crazing. Crazing is when the piece comes out of the kiln and it could be usually due to a sizing issue where the clay shrunk at a certain rate the glaze shrunk at a faster rate because it shrunk at a faster rate it cracks and you have all these little spider hairline cracks now if uh, now for some Japanese artisans they do a raku process where they'll take this hot vase and they'll put it into sawdust and the sawdust burns and incinerates immediately and flames up it looks really cool uh, and when it flames up all the carbon that's produced by that flame gets sucked into the clay and when it gets sucked into the clay, it turns black. So you have the bottom of the piece, which has this nice matte black finish that looks like asphalt. And then where it's cracked along the outside of the texture of the piece, on these little hairline cracks, they're all black now too. And they didn't have to do anything to get that black design in there. So it's a, it's a texture and it's a surface detail that they put into it. And it just looks really cool. Uh, a couple quick things about this artist. Mr. Hiroshi was born in Hiroshima uh, Prefecture and at the age of 28 he, was he established his own kiln and became an independent potter. Now knowing a lot about kilns, building your own kiln is not an easy process. There's a lot of masonry involved. You have to cut brick and form it in a certain pattern. In 1977 he received the honorable mention in the Japan Traditional Applied Fine Art Exhibition and in 1980 Three, he received the Prime Minister's Award at the first annual Western Japan Ceramics Fair. The same year, uh, he was awarded the prize for Japan's Potter by Japan's Potters Association, continuing to win a number of other awards and honors. And in 2007, he was designated a living living national treasure, receiving the highest honor award to any ceramics artist in Japan. And today, he works uh, his works are highly sought after, and he has received great praise for his unique style and ceramics the ceramics of his Celadon series. I say his works are highly acclaimed and highly valued like 30 to 50 thousand dollars for each piece that he makes lots of lots of really good stuff it's a very simplistic process the thing about ceramics is you don't want to over um over complicate things there's a simplicity to it that 
speaks more than some of the designs that you do. Your design should marry with the shape and the form, uh, but they shouldn't overpower it. That's one of those key things in, in ceramics to work with. All right, as always, if you guys have comments, raise your hand down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next class. Until then, later, guys.